another river, another story of something British that goes all over the world. The story of a stone that can take everything men or nature can give. The stone from which Waterloo Bridge was fashioned to take the pounding of numberless wheels and countless feet. The stone from which Wren built St Paul's to weather the city air, the winds and rain. Portland stone, quarried from the earth of the Isle of Portland off the coast of Dorset. On Portland there are families called Stone, and others called Cutting and Cutter. For this island has known no other industry but the hewing of its stone for nearly a thousand years. Stone which is acknowledged as the finest weathering stone in the world. Stone that can really take it. Not the first 23 feet which is called rubble, nor the next 22 feet of cap and roach, but the 15 feet after that is the famous Portland stone. More than a million cubic feet a year leave the island. A large proportion of it is for export. It's a medium hard limestone is Portland with millions of fossils in its composition to give it durability. When cut and exposed to the chemicals in the air, it forms a weathering skin on its surface. Buildings made of it in the days of William Rufus are still standing, the stone as good as ever. Of all London's famous buildings, only Westminster Cathedral and the House of Commons have not been built of Portland stone. And the future promises just as much, for most of the stone used throughout Britain comes from the island. So the work of hewing and cutting the famous stone goes on, as experts predict it will, for another three centuries. By then, when the quarries finally run out, many fine buildings made of it will be standing throughout the world to bear for countless years the name of this tiny island.